Hey bosses, it's Nina. I know it's been a while, been a while, been a while. I had a lot of things going on this month personally and professionally. So I am back and I want to teach you how to create a website with Canva for free. Yes, create a website, full website with links and everything with Canva for free. It's super duper easy. Um, the only thing that you may want to pay for is if you want to do a URL or redirect, um, a domain name. But other than that, you just have this website. Let's jump in. As a reminder, I'm coming out with a new checklist every month. And this month is going to be all about digital branding. So we will also focus on Canva on this channel since everything is Canva 2.0, they've actually upgraded it. So I'm up here playing around with this. Let's actually just jump in. So I actually set up my Canva using my Facebook login. You'll notice I have years of stuff in here. I don't always come in here. Um, so I want to make sure you know that I'm doing this just for you and those who really, really love Canva. So, um, my group can make sure they know how to create their own digital graphics. So I do create a couple things here and there. Basically what I want to create today, I'm just going to type in website. For those of you that are new to Canva, I am doing a Canva masterclass this month. Again, just go to the monthlychecklist.com, sign up for your free checklist, and then I'll notify you when that course comes out. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel and I'll be releasing different videos on Canva. And I already have a bunch down there, so make sure you take a look. Now, you can use a template or design from scratch. Let me just tell you what happened. So I'm actually gonna start from a template. It's the easiest way. It's basically going to create tons of different pages and then you are going to publish it to the website to a website i'm telling you this because even if you create another graphic say a an ebook or multiple page graphic design in canva you can always publish it to a website so you don't have to start out with a website design you can start out with any design that you have and you can just create either copy a page or create a new page and in the end, you'll see that you can change around the page numbers, all of that, and create your own website. And there's a couple of different options. But let's get started with a template so we can go through here. Notice with the new design, you can actually minimize the sidebar over here. I'm gonna go back to templates, but just know that you can kind of play around with this a little bit more. So let's look for something fun. Ooh, this actually fits my new branding, which is hilarious. I got uh, polka dots and these triangles. This is so funny. This is interesting. Okay, anyways, notice that um, everything's carrying over to another page. And like I said, my new branding has a bunch of polka dots and triangles and things like that. It doesn't have this squiggly line, but I might use it. I'm just gonna go ahead and click once and it just pulls over this page. So in this page, I'm gonna say, Build your, oops, spell it right. Build your website from scratch. And then you'll notice in Canva, you just basically click and double click. So free website, okay? And so a couple of things. So you can kind of change around things. I'm not gonna go through all of these elements because I have several other courses on the basics of Canva but know that you're basically double clicking, moving things around. If these are not your brand colors, these are not mine, they're a little bright for me. I can go up here and change it to my brand colors um, and just make sure everything kind of matches. Okay, and so you can spend some time doing that. I'm not gonna go through all of these here, but just a couple so you can see how easy it's done. I'm literally just pointing and clicking. Okay, so after you go through and change the colors, I would change the text also, make sure that everything here has your brand colors. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I, oh, you know what, I just figured out, duh, Nina, click on X. Yay, I got rid of the little pop-up, okay. You can also add other elements. So you're not stuck to this. You can go back to your elements here. So maybe this is a website and it's your first page. So you want to add images, right? So I actually have my folders here or my uploads. 
I'm just going to go down and pick. Let's go ahead and pick her. If I want, I can put images in the background. I don't have to use everything from the template. I can just kind of move her in the background, right? And in this case, I'm going to change the position. Notice as I click on this image, everything at the top right and at the top left are available. So I can move the position backwards or all the way to the back, okay? And so I'm going to move this whole box. Remember, if you see four arrows, which I just saw, four arrows means I'm moving it, whereas two arrows means I am resizing it, okay? And since we're here, let's go ahead and add something behind it because I don't like the way this is looking. So we're just going to use one of our boxes here. Again, two arrows resizes it. And you're just looking at the corners to resize, right? And I'm actually going to move this position backward, not to the back, but backward. So we're going to do it a couple times so it shows up. And then I am going to change the transparency so it doesn't stand out as much, but my text can be seen. That's a trick. So if you have some colors that you want to use, but it's not really showing up, correctly on the website or any kind of graphic, you can do something like that. You wouldn't want to cut off her hair, just a tip. You don't want to cut off limbs and things like that. So I may move it around and just make sure that it looks nice, okay? If I'd like, I can go in and change the font. Notice when I'm clicking here, um, since there's two groups of text, I can ungroup this text from that text. I'm gonna leave it as is, but since it's highlighted, I can change this to my brand colors or any other item I want. Okay, that looks horrible. Let's go ahead and pick something. I should have just left it as is. Okay, not really the font that I would choose. Let me just choose one really quick. Um, this would be fine for now. So this is page one. Now here's a tip that people don't know about. Let me change this and, or else it's going to get on my nerves. There we go. So one thing that people don't know about is you can add links to different items. So say you have a freebie, right? So we're on my first page, I'm just gonna add a subheading. You can add any of these or just add some regular text. And I'm gonna say, um, and actually let's change this. Okay, and let's say down, uh, let's say sign up for my free course. And actually I'm gonna say click here. Click here to, okay, and I'll just delete this. Now I'm gonna click on this text, right? And at the top, notice that you have a link. So I'm just gonna type my regular website. And this, this is the area where you would actually link it to whatever it is, whether it's your MailChimp or your Kartra or your active campaign, or if you're doing it the old school kind of way, you may have um, a web, not necessarily it's old school, it's just a different way. Um, you may have it on a WordPress site with a password or on a YouTube video or Vimeo video with, you know, different things like that. So basically what's gonna happen is, I almost forgot to show you guys the, the results of this. So I'm just coming back. That's why it's a different picture. I'm going to click on website and click on open website. And you'll see that I can actually click here and it leads to other places. You can see other places in the website you've created or to my actual website. So let's get back to the tutorial. Okay, let's add our next page now. So the, the, the key is you have to create your new page first, then create the click on the template, okay? Otherwise, it's going to, sometimes what it'll do is it will either replace it or create a whole nother item. So we're just gonna leave these as is and pretend like we've built out the sites. Think of each of these cards as a different page in your site. Now, you can come in here and add the title of the page, and that's something that you'll wanna do. So let's change this. Um, so I'll make this about, about your trainer. And we'll call her 
here. Okay, we're gonna make up a word, a name for her, right? So the next one is going to be, this is going to be her portfolio. Keep in mind that you can come in here. Now, if this is going to lead to this one, so maybe this is um, mom and dad. So this is baby years, right? So maybe this is going to be our baby. Hmm? Or this, okay, we'll put this as mom and dad, right? So we'll name this mom and dad. Now we'll come back to all of that and how you kind of navigate around, but at some point you're gonna to wanna to create all of your different pages, your links out. Um, just keep in mind that at the top you can link to almost anything, right? Now, if you wanna add other objects that are on the left-hand side, what I'm going to do is just click on website here. Now you have a couple of different options. At the top you can publish, and so notice the first style is scrolling. So that means if I'm, let's go ahead and preview. Okay, so if I'm on the site, I can scroll and each page will come up. Notice there are some um, transitions and things like that and you can kind of play around with those. Okay, I'm going to escape. The second option here is a classic navigation. Now this looks the most like a normal site. Let's go ahead and preview the website. Now notice at the top now I see build your website from scratch. That's the title of my site. Build your website from scratch, a little long, so maybe you find something else, right? And then you can go to about your trainer, portfolio, etc. So this is more like a traditional site. Now present, presentation style goes from left to right. I would use this if you're maybe at a trade show or if you're demoing your products. Um, let me just preview this here. I'm just trying to be very cautious about purchasing these images that I don't need, okay? So I would make it full screen. And I can go back and forth through this. But if I needed a presentation mode, I actually wouldn't do it as a website. I would go down to uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. look at all these new options, you guys. I've been playing around with them. Um, where's the presentation? Did I pass it? Present. The reason I would use this one, present, is because you can actually select your different um, transitions as they go through. So I'm just going to do slide, or actually, let's do circle. And you'll see if I wait for a second, it shows you the different ways that it will go through a presentation. So what this means is you can use this as a PowerPoint, you can create a site. So that means, backing up my iDrive there. Um, so that means that I can actually hand out or print some slides, put it on the screen, turn it into a website for those that weren't there. Let's just preview this. And notice at the bottom, and you have your transitions, okay? Now, going back to the website, there's a couple of other options that you can do. There's a single page website. And it's just going straight down, which is actually kind of nice with this design because it's one cohesive design. Now, the thing that you would do is this is now your site URL, right? What you can do is you can create a bit.ly link, um, and this is after you publish it, actually. Um, I'm not going to pay for these, so um, I don't want to, and actually, let's go ahead and delete these so we can not worry about that. Let's see if any of them, there you go. So you can actually open up the website now. So I'm gonna go back to Classic Navigation, open in a window. This is now your URL for your website. So what this means is now you can take this and go to like bit.ly.com. I have a video, I'll link it in the 
um, link it below. So you can have like a short link to this. So you can say, hey, go to bit.ly.com slash build your website, right? Or you can create um, a link from your website or you can create a totally new URL from Namecheap. You can get URLs from Namecheap for as little as 88 cents. And sometimes they have sales on that. I'll leave the link below if I can find a sale for you guys. All right. So the goal here is that you now have a website. You can share it with other people, invite people to edit if you have some people that you're outsourcing it to. Um, one of the last um, information or the last ways to share this as a website that I would suggest is you can do an embed code so you can take your graphic and embed it in a um, an actual website or blog. So maybe you have a PowerPoint presentation or step-by-step -step instructions to something you're doing for a blog. You create it in here, publish it as an embed code, and you're simply going to take this HTML code and notice this one says your WordPress or Medium link. So that's a different one. Um, but, or you can take this um, here and just paste it in your the text portion of your website that you already have. But that should be just a quick way to create a website. It is cheap. Notice how quick it is. And in general, you now have a functioning website. Yay. Okay, if you have specific questions about anything on this list, go ahead and ask me now in the comments because I am going to go through some of the new features of Canva 2.0, like the fact that you can actually create animated GIFs, you can actually schedule directly to social media, you have a social media calendar, you can link to different items like Tumblr and WeChat, there, there's all kinds of stuff, right? So let me know what you want me to teach you and I'll create a couple of um, videos for you this month. All right, and oh, and also I have a blog on my site, The Ultimate Guide to Canva. What I'll be doing is I will be uploading or updating this rather with the new tips and tricks from Canva 2.0. Um, as you can see, I have everything from what is Canva, is it right for you, why, how much does it cost, what types of businesses should use them, what type of templates are there, um, how to upload things, how to select your fonts. So I will be going in and uploading or updating this with some new items soon. All right, ciao for now.